Hey partners, today we have a Buzz Lightyear head swap video. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey partners, most of my views come from non-subscribers, so please consider subscribing today. Hit that alert so you'll be notified for future videos. It helps me as I'm on my way to 100,000 subs this year. Really appreciate it. Here we are back again for the head swap video. As you know, I bought this Closed Mouth Smile Buzz so I can make a Bonnie Toy Story 4 movie accurate toy mode <laughs> as she found Buzz in the closet. As you see here in the movie still, when Bonnie found Buzz in the closet, he had no helmet and he had a closed mouth. So that's what I want to recreate here uh, is a Bonnie movie accurate Toy Story 4 Buzz in toy mode. So here we have this. I found in the back there are screw holes. So on the back of him he has one, two, three, four. Uh, screws. I'm going to unscrew them. All right, so I unscrewed all the screws here, and now it looks like I've never done this before on this buzz. And that popped out. Actually, that was probably better because then I could screw it back together easier. As you can see, there's nothing really inside buzz because he has no electronics. So, actually, you know what? Now that I think about this, this might be a good buzz to mod uh, because there's nothing inside him. Usually, the electronics are in the way. Well, here he is, and very nice. All right, so after you loosen the screws, it just pops off like that. And guess what? Perfect. So the buzz head sculpt is removed. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, I have done this before. If you want to see how I did this Thinkway Toys to the Limited Edition Store mod, click this end card right here. It takes you right to that video if you want to see that head swap I did a while ago. Now to help this process, there's a screw here. The jetpack does come out. Uh, you just have to unscrew it right here. I don't recommend you do this at home unless you really know what you're doing. A lot of times when I go into these, I am just experimenting because I don't really know either. But that's why I do these videos so we can figure it out together because I can do it. It's just got to try. So the wings come out. It's just basically one screw that holds the jetpack in place. Some people have asked me this before. How do you get these out? You're supposed to use a flathead screwdriver kind of dig in but because i've done it before it's easy for it to slip out you want to save those pieces because as you can see i lost one they're easy to lose because they're very small so once you get the screw caps out there's about one two three four and then we can start pull that apart so we can get this loose now here is buzz with his please be careful you don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off so now you can see what it looks like when you press a buzz lightyear button So these two buttons, these two buttons activate the same sound chip there, and look at this one. Hola, amigo. ¿Qué tal estás? So that's Spanish mode right there. A tu and these two are English. To star command. Command star command. Very interesting, huh? Well, Buzz still works. I mean, even his laser arm without his head. So as you can see, I was able to pry this off, no issues. His electronics are not affected, it still works. Now all I had to do was unscrew the center one because that is what holds the head. So the head was able to come off again. So welcome to the world of Buzz Mods. So we're gonna keep going here and um, so we can do all the head transplants. This is a lot <laughs> to do, but I'm going to do the same concept for this buzz. He's got one screw hole there, so we can take the jetpack off first. Same concept for the Disney Store buzz as the limited edition one. Take off the screw caps, unscrew these, and we should be able to get this off. So some people told me that these were glued in for the new ones. You know, maybe Disney Store started realizing we're doing head swaps and they're like, we don't want them to do that. So they maybe glued these down. So I'm trying a new technique. Now that I know how the mechanism works, Basically, technically, I could unscrew his head by just turning his head like this. Lefty Lucy, righty tidy. So if you just go left and keep going left, I'm going to see if I can just unscrew his head from up here. So as I was doing this, I was realizing since I couldn't unscrew it, I'm like, why am I making it harder on myself? So what I ended up doing was I got some gator grips and I took out the Disney Store head, just kind of broke it off. And I realized I could just do a Velcro mod. So have I put Velcro here 
on the landing pad of the head and on the bottom of buzz and then that way I could swap the heads out and it's pretty secure and I can even turn it and buckle it and um, it's pretty snug in there and I'm just glad that the Disney Store helmet accommodates the new Thinkway head pretty awesome actually and his head is pretty secure in there which is pretty cool and it has the whoosh factor now so that looks actually a lot better I like that I think it's cool so then I changed my mind and I want to do the Velcro mod uh, not only for this one but for a limited edition because then I could just switch the heads out if I want to so basically what I did in here was the Velcro mod so now I can put Buzz's head in there and it fits which is really nice um, so you have the Disney store with the Thinkway head now and I think it looks better and his wings are straighter now and he has this karate chop action. I wish Thinkway Toys would have done this because it looks so much better. So combining straighter wings with the karate chop looks great. So I think this is probably my favorite Buzz mod so far because it's a Disney Store body that has more features. Um, but you also get a Thinkway head sculpt, which is way better than Disney Store. So head sculpt, obviously. So yeah, this is a really nice one with the whoosh feature. It's definitely the closest we can get to like a functional toy from the movie, uh, like we see Buzz Lightyear in, on the film. Um, so it's a really nice buzz. I really like the head sculpt. And, and with the helmet now, I think it looks pretty, it looks way more legit. It almost reminds me of a cloud pattern buzz in a way. And then it has the straighter wings, which is pretty convenient. I really like that a lot. Now for fun, we're gonna get the closed mouth and put him in this one here. And guess what? Now we have Bonnie's Buzz, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, I, you know, people use magnets all the time, but I think the Velcro is cool because it still has the same effect and it's very simple to do. Just hot glue gun that so it's secure. And then you can just swap the heads out as you wish. Um, I think for this one, I wanna keep this Thinkway one in here because it reminds me of a Cloud Buzz. So I probably will keep this one the way it is, but this one looks fantastic now. This buzz looks more to me like when Bonnie found him in the closet. I think he looks really good. Um, definitely looks like Bonnie's toy to me, and the head swap was a success. Now I'm a little biased because I like this green better. It's more movie accurate for the limited edition Disney Store buzz. So which one is your favorite buzz? I think that I like both of these. Um, they're both really cool. I'm probably gonna definitely keep this one in my collection because he's like the Bonnie movie accurate one. But this one, I might put it in my shop for sale um, for someone else to get out there so they have a chance to get a modded Disney Store buzz. It's a really great buzz and I think in the future you can get more heads and do your own head swaps, which is pretty neat. I don't know, I really like both of these right now. Now here's one issue that I encountered. So this one's kind of like my Andy uh, toy mode buzz kind of and then this one's definitely Bonnie now the limited edition buzz comes with Andy on the bottom of the boot and this Disney Store one comes with Bonnie on the boot so what I have to do is switch these and uh, so the because this one's my Bonnie one okay and then we got that out that actually came out very simple you'll keep the screws and then I'm gonna take this one out and then we could switch it so, which is not a problem, it just means I need to transplant this over to here. So then this one's going to say Bonnie. So let's see if the same screws fit. Okay, so the name switch was perfectly fine. Um, I don't notice any difference in color or size or shape. So when I switched these over, I didn't have any issues with that. So I'm glad that worked. So now this is Bonnie's Toy Story 4 toy mode buzz as she finds them in the closet. Now let's look at the movie. Do you think this buzz now looks like Bonnie's buzz from the closet? I definitely think he does. Um, it's great that he has straight wings and he still talks. And he has a Spanish mode. He's got his laser. He also has his karate chop action arm, which is amazing. Just like that. I don't know, this this buzz looks so good now. I think he definitely looks more like um, the one from the movie. I wish Thinkway Toys would have made his wings uh, straighter like this one, like Disney Store pulled it off. But you know, just a little 
creativity and imagination and like I always tell you guys let's make impossible into possible if you don't see something try to make it yourself you know you never know what you might find I went into this mod not knowing what to expect and I'm 100% happy with it I think this looks like Toy Story 4 Buzz I'm from Bonnie's room now with the Bonnie on the bottom so this is my toy mode Buzz from Bonnie's room now now for fun I put the Disney store is also velcro we can swap his head and it's a little wobbly which is cool and he's on the one that doesn't articulate he just has a karate chop arc action arm um, that's about it but I might do something really fun for this buzz on this channel because he's just really I don't like him at all <laughs> but you know I had to do something with the Disney store head that was left over so this is just kind of a fun buzz but the real fun part was modding these two buzzes so I have more of an Andy stunt toy mode buzz Disney Store mod, and then this one is my Toy Story 4 Bonnie, limited edition Disney Store body. Let me know what you partners think of this head swap idea in the comment section below. As always, partners, thank you so much for watching, for liking, subscribing to my channel. It really means the world to me that you show me so much support as I'm on my way to 100,000 subs this year. So hit that subscribe button, hit that alert so you'll be notified for future videos, and I'll see you partners on the next video review.